Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. In this new world of working from home, like me, you might have found yourself shopping for things to turn a little corner of your home into a home office. Maybe a standing desk, some ergonomic stools, and so that you can park your laptop and to make that transition feel more official, a new monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Well, my Mac is already docked and I've already got these. So today, I've partnered with Samsung to talk about that last remaining piece of this puzzle. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Samsung Smart Monitor, what might be the most interesting and well-rounded monitors I have ever seen. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and keep watching. Let's get the basics out of the way. Whether you're on a PC or a Mac, this is in every respect a solid monitor. Available in two sizes, 27 inch and 32 inches, with a 16 by 9 widescreen with great viewing angles, HDR10 support, and either a full HD or 4K resolution, depending on the model you choose. There's also adaptive picture and eye saver mode that will automatically adjust screen brightness and blue light levels depending on the environment. In short, it's an excellent display. And a very good looking one at that, with a matte black frame and aluminum stand, with a reasonable amount of tilt so that you can find the right angle. It looks so good, better probably than what you got at work. And it's slim and sleek, so it can go a lot of places, like your kitchen counter or a coffee table. And there's a decent amount of ports too. The top of the line M7 model, which I've been using, has three USB 2.0 ports, two full-size HDMI ports, and a 65 watt USB-C port that can power most laptops. But really, what sets this monitor apart from what's out there are its extras. Features you won't usually find in your average monitor. They are built-in Wi-Fi, built-in speakers, a host of connectivity options, and smart TV software. That built-in Wi-Fi is a game changer. It means the monitor can independently connect to the internet even if nothing else is connected to it. If you have Microsoft 365, for example, you could just dive into the remote access menu and work on your Word, Excel, or PowerPoint documents on the cloud. All you need is a keyboard and mouse. The smart monitor has Bluetooth built in, so I use the wireless ones. There's also a remote access feature that lets you log in to your Windows computer at work. Now, if you'd like a wider selection of productivity apps, all you need is your smartphone. These days, many smartphones are powerful enough to handle computer stuff, like Samsung's Galaxy S21 series that all come with wireless DeX. All you have to do is swipe down on the quick settings panel and tap on DeX. And once connected to monitors that support it, like the Samsung Smart Monitor, it will switch to desktop mode. So you can run Android apps in a more PC-like environment. This is perfect for more specialized applications like Wonderlist for your to-dos or Slack for coordinating work stuff. There's also tap view and tap sound. Just tap your Samsung phone over here on the Samsung logo and you can, for example, continue listening to this song on Spotify on your smart monitor. If you're an iPhone user, there's also support for AirPlay 2 which lets you mirror what's on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac to your monitor. Perfect if you maybe want to show off photos from your camera roll on the bigger display. Can I use my monitor as a TV is a question I get asked a lot. And the answer is sorta but it can be quite cumbersome. You'll need to connect with a cable or wirelessly to some device that you can stream content from. Preferably, it's got built-in speakers too, but most likely, it doesn't. So you'll also need a set of external speakers. Now, all of these problems do not apply to the Samsung Smart Monitor, and I've saved my favorite feature for last. Because it's got in built-in Wi-Fi, you don't need another device to connect to the internet. Because it has built-in two-channel five-watt speakers, you don't need an external pair. But really, what brings it all together is the fact that it has its own TV operating system. 
the same one that's on all of Samsung's smart TVs. Powered by Tizen and with its own app store, this means you can download all your favorite streaming apps, YouTube, Netflix, Disney+, even Apple TV+, and you can control the TV with the bundled remote. So when you're done for the day, you can kick back and watch movies and TV shows on the smart monitor too. These days, after a long day of work, I put away my computer and build Lego on the same desk. I like having my smart monitor play YouTube videos in the background as I build. It might not have ports for cable TV, but based on how we consume content these days, you could say that this smart monitor is also a complete entertainment hub. I can see how this might be the perfect all-in-one device for those who maybe live in a small space and need a TV and a work monitor, but maybe also you have a bedroom and want a TV for that bedroom, but also know that you need to spend your money on a work monitor first. And by the way, there's no stopping you from plugging in your favorite gaming console. I hooked up my PS5 and you can game it up to 4K 60 FPS. The Samsung Smart Monitor starts at $229.99 for the 27-inch M5 model and goes all the way up to $399.99 for the 32-inch M7 model. Currently, there's a promotion on Samsung.com where you can get up to $50 off your purchase. Work with or without a PC or smartphone, play games, and watch movies. The Samsung Smart Monitor lives up to its billing as the do-it-all monitor. And I've got to say, I'm impressed. Which of its features do you think you'll be using the most? Sound off in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We've got a lot of content coming your way and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by. Mm -hmm.